you with a excellent video uh, today for the first time I actually will be dyeing um, one of my well she's not my clients my mom's hair um, the dye that we'll be using it's called Revlon color silk beautiful color number 31 um, you can be able to get this from your local um, beauty supply store. I'm not beauty supply store, I'm sorry. You can get it from Walmart or like a Walgreens. That's where we got it from. Um, another product that we'll be using that we got from Sally's, um, we'll be using this called Ardell Gray Magic. Um, it's supposed to be really good when you have gray hair uh, to be able to cover up gray. Because you know a lot of people when they have gray hair, that it tends to not um, last as long as well as it tends not to take. So um, we're going to put that inside of there. We got two of them. Um, another thing that we'll be using is we, you most definitely want to be able to have a cape and you can be able to get like a cape from any Dollar General or anything like that um, and I'll be using a shower curtain liner and again like I said you can't purchase this from the Dollar General store it's only like probably about a dollar I'm going to use it today if we don't spill anything on it what we're going to do is we're going to actually just reuse it but if we do spill something on it we won't be reusing it um, another thing that we'll be using is some Vaseline, some petroleum Vaseline. Uh, you can also use, no, I say just Vaseline because I was going to try to tell you something else to use, but just use Vaseline. Put it all on your forehead, put it all on your ears, put it all on the nape area, anywhere you think that may possibly get some dye on it. Even if you want to put a little bit on your face because that makes the stain, um, make your actual dye not stain on your forehead and all that good stuff. Um, make sure when you're doing the dye, you really, really focus in on the scalp and not um, putting it, I'm sorry, make sure you focus in on the hair and not the scalp because you do not want the uh, scalp to get on the, um, you know, the dye to get on the scalp. So just make sure that you're putting the dye on um, the actual root of the hair and then at the end of the hair only. Um, another thing we'll be using is we just got some really um, ugly uh, tiles. You want to use anything that's old because you don't want to uh, mess up anything new because I'm telling you, there's plenty of times I mess up tiles, clothes. Make sure you put on some ugly clothes because dye can tend to um, make a mess as well as if you was doing henna or anything. Um, so, and then another thing we'll be using is a comb. I like to use a big wide tooth comb um, because my mom had natural hair. Um, it's just all up to you what type of comb you use and I'm going to use this comb also. We also like to mix up the dye in a little mixer. Uh, we also have a brush too. So again, these things are optional but they make the dyeing process so much better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and section her hair. Um, and oh yeah, I'm sorry. Don't forget to put the cape on. So I'll be putting the cape on, taking off these, putting some crazy looking clothes on. So don't mind me. I just don't want it to get any dye on it. If you have any questions, any questions at all, please let me know. Okay, you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, mix up the mixture. Um, again, like I said, make sure you follow the directions on the back of your box of whatever dye that you're using. This is the directions on, the, uh, on my box. I am actually using two. I think I told you I was using one. The color is dark auburn number 31. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just put the gray uh, powder inside of the mixing bowl. I'll be mixing it in this. You can be able to mix it in the container if you want to, or you can be able to mix it in the um, the other, um, or in here. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. Go ahead and put your, um, go ahead and put your gloves on because you most definitely want to be using gloves. You don't want it to be getting dye everywhere. What I like to do too is I like to put the trash uh, bag on the um, the counter just to make sure I don't get anything on the counter either. So I'm going to open this up and just put this um, right in there. And this is very messy, very messy. So um, make sure that you um, go slow. I'm going to go ahead and get both of these mixed up in here. Oh, this messy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Where's my helper? Helper, please help me. <laughs> I need a paper towel. Okay, let me get a paper towel. I'm sorry, you got to have a paper towel also. I should already have this like there out. You will need a lot of paper towels, okay? And instructions to come inside of the box. So you can read that also. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and mix this inside of here. Go slow because it's very messy. And I'm going to do each one uh, separately. And then once I get both of them mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and pour everything inside of the um, mixture, okay? So let me go ahead and get that all mixed up. And again, like I said, once it get all mixed up, you're going to just kind of shake it up a little bit. Put everything in here, and then you're going to mix it up. Make sure you got your 
mixing spoon too. This is just a spoon that I use when I'm mixing up hair products. So this is not something I eat with. Make sure you designate products to, um, especially for hair. So let me get it mixed up and I'll be back. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and I put everything in this mixing bottle. I'm going to go ahead and just stir it. And like I said, make sure you designate um, stuff specifically for just dyeing hair or whatever you're doing with hair. And make sure you go slow because I'm telling you, this stuff real messy. So y'all bear with me because this is my first time mixing this up. My mom, she was like, it's messy. We got to do this. We got to do this. And you know, being a kid, you always be like, whatever. It's she for real. It's real messy. You need to put a whole bunch of stuff down just to be on the safe side. Okay, so then I got it all stirred up. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is, uh, actually I forgot to tell you, you can go ahead and put all your empty containers inside the box. And then once you um, put it inside the box, you can just go ahead and throw it away. I'm going to go ahead and um, section off her hair and we're going to get started. Okay? No. No, 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 that's not true. That's so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and section off the hair and um, a couple sections. I want to be able to give as many sections as possible just to make sure that everything is um, dyed. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to um, just be using the finger, my fingers while I'm detangling and sectioning it off. I'm going to get put Vaseline all on her ears, all on her nape area, every single wear. So make sure you do the sectioning. And then go ahead and um, put the Vaseline on. So let me go ahead and do that and um, I'll come back, okay? hair grease or Vaseline is whatever um, you want to use and again like I said you really focusing on the um, the scab not really putting it on the hair so I'm putting Vaseline in it and get it sectioned off before I start um, dying as well as putting um, Vaseline everywhere Oh, uh -huh. for your scalp, don't you? No, 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 but just put in there. Uh -huh. you to it, you just to oh, okay. I don't think so, sir. You sure? No, everywhere. Yeah, Stop them wherever you want. What, what? Nice to meet you. My pleasure. You, you focus more on the, um, uh, you know that you don't put it on the skin. Okay. You probably got nothing in there. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so make sure you lather her good on the forehead too, she said. She always dyed her own hair, plus she used to do hair back in the day, so she teaching me. <laughs> Just make sure you put it all on a person's face. Their eyebrows, their lips, don't play, okay. Just in case you drop some. Okay, so we ready, y'all. Make sure you put your gloves on. And you know what's funny? Because like to me, it's kind of cool having some Vaseline on your hand with the gloves on just in case some 
dye may possibly get in your glove or something, it make the dye real easy to come off. So go ahead and put your gloves on. Hey baby, come here, how are you? It's good to see you. Nicole, this is Tiki Pop. Tiki is my partner in this new series, you know what I'm about. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start in the front first. Like around the hairline, make sure you get the whole total hairline. <laughs> And since you know it has gray, you most definitely want to make sure you cover all the gray. I mean, but that's any time. No matter if it's gray or not, you always want to make sure that you cover up everything. Take little bits of hair. Um, don't try to do a whole bunch at one time. You can also use a brush if that's easier for you. And all I'm doing is just taking it and making sure I'm putting it on all the hair. Starting from the root and then just going to the ends, ensuring every strand gets dyed. So it's kind of like when you um, do your perm, just kind of do it like that. And take your time, but um, on the box it says keep it in for 35, 30 minutes, I'm sorry, when it's um, gray. So that's what we go do. I just want to get paid. So, my, do you think that we should like? Um, is it best to when you doing a count time? Is it like before application, like the whole process, or do you start your timer once you put everything on? I mean, everybody's getting my like mine all the way on, and then I um, okay. So it's whatever you feel, but she likes to put all the hers on first, and then go ahead and time it for the thirty minutes. So give yourself time enough for the application process. Just do a little poke, okay? Get yourself back up. And I just want to make sure everything has dye on it. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get it everywhere, especially with it being gray. Like sometimes the gray might try to hide a little bit. And if you get dye anywhere, just hurry up, take it off. Don't leave it on there because you're not trying to dye their skin or nothing like that. And it helped to have a Q-tip, but, but unfortunately, actually I do have some Q-tips, but they upstairs. I wish I now needed it. And again, when you're taking the rubber bands off, be gentle. What I'm doing is once I put the dye on, I'm kind of putting it in Bantu knots um, just to get it out of the way. I'm not going to use the rubber band again, because when you use try to put the rubber band back on, it's real messy getting it all off. So. And that's from experience. One time I tried to put some henna on my hair. And make sure you get as close to the hairline as you can without dying the forehead. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do anyway, I'm gonna go back once I get everything in, I'm gonna go back and make sure I got everything. So I will be going back, just ensuring I have everything. 